but let's have a think about what marriage actually means and what are your vows if you're a marriagey type person that's cool talk about what marriage means what what does it really mean to you what do you want to get out of it why you know any other contract you would go into you'd have a really meaty discussion with the partners you were going into the contract with even a, a lease you know you negotiate terms and conditions and you renegotiate every 12 months job contracts every other contract mm. in life is you know very heavily negotiated or with an out at you know the 12 month mark or the two year mark or whatever except marriage we have this fantasy that it has to last forever that you know some people think that god is involved in it you know cool i don't want to say that he is or he isn't or that he even is a he but we have to be honest with ourselves and ask ourselves these questions about why am i going into this contract what what does it mean to me what does it mean to you if our meanings are different can we live with that if our meanings are the same how can we honor them what kinds of things would be meaningful to us do we want to have rituals to how will we mark these things for us most people don't don't ask themselves these questions they just have the you know fifty thousand dollar wedding and think that's it done now and then wonder why mm. why it's hard you know well it is hard no matter what mm. you do it's going to be hard but if you really really want to do the together forever piece which i guess that some people can the labor and the skill that goes into that is is really something that i think it's something that you can learn and it has to be something that you really want because to commit at that level is not for everybody and i don't think that that's a weakness i don't think it's a bad thing but i think relationships are not for wimps and i think a lot of people are a bit wimpier than they want to admit to themselves <laughs> myself included i can be a bit wimpy Maybe that sometimes should... you know but you got to know you've got to know next, you that should be the title of your next book relationships are not for wimps <laughs> yeah. i think it would be a good new york times bestseller um but it's true they're not for wimps yeah. you know so and you know everyone's got parts of ourselves that are you know a little bit wimpy and it's not to hide those or you know pretend that they're not there but just own them you know you, you bringing the bringing the shadows into the light is, mm -hmm. is, how, 